Hello, I'm Aaron E from JCS. I'm here with Marty and Happy, and we are doing an experiment on metal etching. Here we need to insulate the areas that we don't want affected by the corrosion and the chemical reaction. We then cut out a shape that we want to engrave into the metal. In front of me, I have a salt water beaker. I also have a 9 volt battery connected to two alligator clips. And I have a sheet of metal, stainless steel, covered in electrical tape to make out a logo. Also, to do the etching, I will use cotton balls. I attach the positive lead on the crocodile clip onto the metal sheet. Secondly, I dip my cotton ball into the salt water solution. I squeeze the excess salt water out of the cotton ball and attach it to the negative lead on the crocodile tips. Now we are ready to start the etching process. Now we press the cotton ball onto the metal sheet. We know that there is a chemical reaction happening because there is the sound of sizzling. This formula is the basics of etching metal and can be used with many different examples. Because the metal we use is stainless steel, there is a clear coating of which prevents further oxidization and corrosion. However, the iron reacts with the hydroxide ions in the salt water solution, forming an insoluble iron hydroxide and allowing the iron to further corrode. This diagram visually aids our description of metal etching. Please pause to view. The chlorine ions are disrupting the oxides, allowing the iron chlorines to form the color on the once we have repetitively etched the steel, we remove the electrical tape to uncover our school logo permanently printed on the stainless steel tray.